One thing about life, man, when it hands you an L, like a clear and definitive L, just take the L, bro. Because trying to fight it will only make things worse. And you know what's crazy? This life lesson has been taught to us for years. It's in all our cartoons. Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry. I mean, all those times Elmer Fudd was taking L's to a rabbit and a duck. He should have known with it. You know what? Maybe this is not for me. Let me just move on to... He didn't even have to give up hunting. He just had to move on to a different rabbit or a different duck. Because these two were giving him a lot of problems. He should have just known like, you know what? This rabbit just put me in a wig and lipstick and made me cross dress and I'm, I'm not into that. A rabbit did that. Let me just take the L. Let me move on. But no. Do you remember that one episode of Tom and Jerry where Tom had the girlfriend that ended up choosing the richer dude, the richer cat, and Tom just wouldn't accept it. So he made his own life a living hell trying to keep up with that guy. Yeah, that is an example of not taking the L and making it worse. It's a beautiful and sunny day outside. I just wanted to appreciate that. You know, we've just been through a cyclone. So days like this, they feel good. Okay, so I'll give you a real world example, right? I have this friend of mine, good friend of mine, who has a brother who went to do his master's in the United States of America. Smart brother. But it wasn't a scholarship. It was his parents paying out of pocket, right? Now, my brother here was in his second semester partying a little more than he was studying, you know? And, uh, you know, when that happens, when you take that course of action, things don't always, uh, you know, pan out the way they should. So exams roll around and what happens? My brother took an L, but he did not accept the L. Now here's the thing, it's not like he failed outright. He just had a couple courses that he needed to repeat. But instead of uh, being honest with his parents, he chooses another course of action. Now at the time his parents couldn't travel to America to attend the graduation, but they knew when it was. So they're like, ah son, when, when are you sending us your grad pics? So this guy's like, yeah, 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 uh, sorry, I just forgot, I'll, I'll send them to you this week. What does this guy do? He goes and hires a photographer, hires a cap, hires a gown, and goes and takes some pictures as if he's graduated. He even has one where he's throwing the cap into the air. Now, of course, African parents, they have more questions. They now start asking, ah, son, you never showed us your, your, your transcript. You never showed us your certificate. What's happening? And he's like, ah, no, no, you know those things, um, they're taking some time to, to, to come out, but uh, I'll send them to you once I get them. Now, this is an American institution. His parents are like, ah, wait, wait, what's going on over here, man? So, they go, or his dad goes to America to visit his son and to visit the institution he was at. Come to find, my boy didn't pass his second semester. He was uh, working to do some resits so that he could, you know, get his degree. But that is a classic example of what happens when you don't accept the L. You make the L worse, because what do you think his dad did after that? Think, you think he got a, any kind of reward for lying to his parents? <laughs> nah. Now what's the point of all I'm saying? What I'm saying is when life hands you an L, just take the L. Accept it, move on, improve, make another game plan so that you don't take an L again. But when you try fight the L, the L gonna fight back and it's gonna win. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Peace.